Good morning, and welcome to this week's episode of Tiger Vision News. I'm Cooper. And I'm Matt. And, and TVN, TVN starts, starts right, right now. Congratulations to February's Seniors of the Month, Blake Faulkner and Cassie Pendergraft. FCA and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym today, so uh, bring your lunch and join us because Barry Stevenson will be speaking. Juniors and seniors, if you missed the ASVAB in the fall, you can sign up in the counselor's office. The ASVAB will be on February 6th at 8 a.m. in room 108. Now if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Ford Gibson Education Foundation, Info Media, Dr. Debbie Coy, The Tiger's Den, Garrett Family Funeral Home, Ford Gibson State Bank, Ford Gibson Nursing Home, and Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center. Juniors, remember to turn in all of your candy bar money today to avoid the holds list, and remember that they will not take back any unsold candy bars. Fort Gibson High School has begun its 2019 campaign in the Pennies for Patients program. We have been helping people who are sick with blood cancer, such as leukemia, for the past 11 years. Bring any amount of money to your third hour class and put it in your classroom's collection box. The money will be counted on February 15th, and the top fundraising class will win a pizza party. Second place will win a pot party. Remember, every cent counts. Now let's head things over to Brooklyn for a quick update on our weather. cold arctic blast. This weekend looks like it's going to warm up with highs in the mid to low 60s and maybe even up to 69 on Sunday with a small chance of showers throughout. It seems like these warm temperatures will last until Wednesday in which we'll see another drastic drop of almost 30 degrees in temperature and will continue to decline as we continue through the rest of the week. Be sure to keep updated with the weather and be sure to look out for changes. We would like to thank Channel 6 for providing this week's weather graphic. And now a word from one of our sponsors. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. Hey Cooper, are you a fan of Fortnite? No, I am not a fan of Fortnite, Matthew. The battle royale genre doesn't really appeal to me. Yeah, me either. But there's no denying that Fortnite has had some pool over the past year. Although, it does seem like Fortnite's pool is lessening. Here's Noah with more. Even if you aren't a gamer, chances are you've seen or heard of Fortnite. This game has been plastered, mentioned, and advertised everywhere as of late. But, with new games featuring a newer, more polished spin on the Battle Royale, it seems that Fortnite's monopoly will soon be coming to an end. I don't really play Fortnite anymore. I got burned out on it with all the new stuff they added, and it just it was getting too much for such a simple game. I play the new Call of Duty right now, and I'm currently going through Red Dead Redemption 2's story. I'm about 27% in right now. I don't like Fortnite because of all the uh, the cringe it creates and the uh, the catastrophe it causes. It's it's really just becoming a bad game. It was good in the beginning. Fallout 76 has realistic graphics and uh, Fortnite has little cartoon characters. She's building with cringe. Um, I think Fortnite is dying because of other better games that are coming out like Black Ops and Red Dead Redemption. 
Fortnite is still a good game, but there are just other better games that are competing with it. With many games featuring a better version of the Battle Royale and many other great games that don't have a Battle Royale, it seems that Fortnite's days are numbered. This has been Noah Jorgensen reporting for Tiger Vision News. I'm glad to see some other games are making their way into the spotlight. Indeed, there are definitely other better games out there. This year's prom will be held April 6th from 7 to 11 p.m. at Kieran's Lodge in Muskogee. The theme is still Arabian Nights. Tickets will begin to be sold on February 26th. Each week that tickets are available, prices will increase by $10. From February 26th to March 1st, tickets will be $20. And on March 4th through the 8th, prices will rise to $30. The following week, prices will rise to $40. The week after that, no tickets will be sold, as that week is spring break. From March 25th through the 29th, ticket prices will be raised to $50. And from April 1st through the 5th, the week of prom, prices will stop at $100. If you plan to go to prom, I would recommend buying your tickets early. And seniors, be on the lookout for a fundraising opportunity for you to get a discounted ticket. Now, let's go to Dominic for our Tiger Sports update. Hey Tiger Town, we would like to congratulate our Lady Tigers on winning the Old Fort Classic and our Tigers placing third. They went to Claremore Tuesday and our girls won 65 to 29 and our boys won 64 to 53. They play Vertigris tonight and if you can't make it to the games, you can tune in to FortGibsonTigers.tv. Our wrestlers won against Tahlequah Tuesday and Junior High All-State will be today and Saturday. Our swim girls got second in the Rose Invitational while our boys got third. They will swim in the regional swim meet today and tomorrow. In college news, OU lost to Baylor 47-77 and will play West Virginia tomorrow. OSU won against South Carolina 74-70 and they will play Kansas State tomorrow. This has been Tiger Sports and now a word from all of our sponsors. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. Senior night for Tiger and Lady Tiger basketball will be February 5th at Fort Gibson vs. Wagner game. Tiger and Lady Tiger senior players and senior cheerleaders will be acknowledged between the girls and boys games. The annual Tiger and Lady Tiger basketball silent auction will be February 8th at the FTG vs. Vanita game. As always, lots of great items are up for bid. Starts at 6 p.m. The Tiger Nation airplane toss at home basketball games takes place at the halftime of the girls and boys games. If you're interested, you can purchase a piece of paper for a dollar during halftime for a chance to win some Chick-fil-A. The Team Delmedico FCA Camp Bake Sale, held in honor of our friend and coach Tammy Delmedico, was a success. $2,200 was raised for, from the sale of baked goods, and with the generous matching donation from a secret donor, the total is $4,400. This money is used to fund FCA camp scholarships to Fort Gibson students. Thank you to everyone who donated or brought items for the sale. Ms. Domenico's favorite verse was, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Now, let's go to Noah for Riddle Me This. Schools teach us that intelligence is measured by how well we do on tests, but I'm here to prove that intelligence is measured by how well you perceive a question. This is Riddle Me This. You ready for a riddle? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, how many seconds are there in a year? One million. How many seconds are there in a year? 365. How many seconds are there in a year? How many seconds are there in a year? Um, 75 million. How many seconds are there in a year? 24. February 2nd, March 2nd. <laughs> That's all the time I have for this week. See you next week on Tiger Vision News. 
The coffee shop has been collecting tickets for a weekly drawing for a free drink from the History Club's coffee shop. We are going to draw the name live. Cooper, pick a winner for us. The winner for the free drink for the coffee shop is 6859587. If you'd like a chance to win a free cup of coffee or coca, visit the coffee shop in the Student Union. They are open each morning before school. Thank you for watching this week's episode of TVN. I'm Matt. And I'm Cooper. And see you next week for more Tiger Vision News.